My outfit's cute today, but you guys only get to see from here up. <laughs> Hello, my feral friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Panthera, and I'm the Feral Wood Witch. Today, we're going to be delving into all things money bowls. What are they? How to make one yourself? How to upkeep them? And even a little tour of my personal money bowl and how I work one myself. So get cozy, grab your beverage of choice, your note-taking implements, and let's get started. A money bowl is a long-term prosperity working that utilizes a bowl or other open top vessel. The idea is that you are encouraging new finances to flow into your life, represented as you place things into the bowl, and then allowing yourself to utilize those finances, represented by pulling things out of the bowl. This is why we're using a bowl or other open-topped vessel for this spell, to allow for constant movement and change in this area of your life. Something like a jar is sealed tight, right? We don't want our finances to get stagnant. We want them to be in a constant state of flowing in and out of our wallets. <laughs> Thus the bowl. However, if you don't have a bowl or other similar vessel, don't feel bad. Really, you can do this with whatever you'd like. You don't have to do exactly what I'm saying here, right? You can always experiment and try for yourself and see what works best for you. But for the purposes of this particular video, Oh my gosh, my kitty cat. <laughs> Luna? But for the purposes of this particular video, we're gonna be focusing on the bowl. Your money bowl can also be specialized. Oh my God, cat. Luna, no, no, no. Your money bowl can also be specialized for bringing in income from particular sources or to be able to afford a specific thing. The possibilities are endless. You can also just adapt it to your needs as you change and grow in your own life and your own practice. So how do you make a money bowl? To make a money bowl for yourself, first choose your vessel. You can use any open top container that works for you. I like using gold or green colored bowls to add a little extra color magic in there, but that is entirely optional. Use whatever you feel called to using. Next, gather up some materials that represent wealth, finances, money, prosperity, abundance in your life. This can be standard money or pocket change. It can also be herbs or crystals that correspond with money, wealth, abundance, or prosperity. It could even be paper receipts of things that you've bought <laughs> or green or gold glitter. Be creative with it. What means money to you? What means wealth to you? What means success to you? There are also some extra optional things that you can add in. Like for example, I like to make petitions or sigils kind of focused on what I'm trying to earn more money from at the time or my financial goals and place them either in the bowl or underneath the bowl. The most important thing in regards to what you place in the bowl is just that it represents money to you or wealth. It just has to mean abundance in some way, shape, or form. You're essentially feeding the bowl these things so that it then attracts wealth to you in your life in return. Now that you've got a general idea of how a money bowl works, let's make one together. Please note that you don't have to do anything that I do or even include the same items. This is just how I like to do my money bowl and the extra steps that I take to ensure that it works for me. You can change whatever you need to based on your own personal situation. I will be including the items that I use in my personal money bowl down in the description below. Hello, my feral friends. Welcome to the do this spell with me portion of this video. Here I've got all of my ingredients in my money bowl. I've already deconstructed it. I have had pretty good success with this money bowl over the past couple uh, months even, but I have felt that it's time for just like a refresh. Uh, I do have weekly things that I do to keep the bowl uh, nice and active. However, I just wanted to do like a really big like oomph, a, a big push. So I figured I would take everything out of the bowl and then give it a good cleanse and everything and then reinstate the bowl. So that's where we're at right now. I use an old um, green glass ashtray that I got from a thrift store a little while ago, um, but it's the perfect size for my money bowl. One of the things I love the most is that my candle holder fits right perfectly in the bottom of it. So I use a lot of candle magic in my workings. The money bowl is not exclusive to that. So you don't have to use candles in your money bowl. It's just personally what, what I like to do. So here I've got some incense going and I'm just gonna give everything a little cleanse. 
and not everything here is going to be going into the money bowl. We'll just see how we feel. If you follow me on Twitch, you might recognize this space. I am using my Twitch tarot space for this video today. I figured it's a lot easier than setting up another little portable altar and camera space. So get a good cleanse here. I also have some candles over on the side. So I'm grabbing one of them and getting in a good cleanse as well. You'll notice that I use a lot of color correspondences in my workings. Um, of course, the money bowl is no exception to that either. So we've got lots of green here. You'll notice some gold, some shiny, all that fun stuff. So let's place that candle down and get this incense popped over in the holder here. All right, so the bowl and all the items here are cleansed. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm actually going to be going ahead and anointing my oil or my bowl <laughs> with oil. Um, so I've got a couple different oils here that are all um, prosperity oils. I'll have them linked down below. So I am just anointing the bowl itself with these oils. I am using three different prosperity oils and I just wanna get them nice and warmed up and activated here in the bowl. Let's see if I can get this one to focus. There you go. The three oils that I'm using today are um, Money Moves, Hustler Honey, and uh, Fortune and Fame, all from Conjured Cardia. I use them for different things. Um, obviously, I am um, a creator here on the interwebs, so I'm trying to bring in new customers via uh, social media, Twitch, YouTube, etc. my videos and my creations. I'm also just trying to bring in more income as well and continue to motivate myself um, to, to continue this, this job and this career path that I, I love doing. So I know if you also are a creator, um, the, the struggle is real sometimes, right? The imposter syndrome can be strong. So I like to include some things to help battle that and stay focused and motivated on, on that, which I want to be doing in my life. All right. So now our bowl is nice and anointed with the oils. So the next thing that I'm actually going to be doing is I have um, three different petitions here that I've done. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what's in them, but they're three different uh, things dealing with money, attraction, bringing in people, income, etc. So I'm going to place them underneath my little candle holder here to keep them like safe and snug down there. So now I'm going to be starting the candle portion of my spell. And as the candle's going, I'm going to be placing items in the bowl around it. We'll be waiting on the more flammable stuff, but I will be watching this the entire time as well too. Um, so definitely, you know, if you're going to be using especially um, paper money and things like that, be careful. You might want to wait until after your candle has burned down to add those in. So of course, you know, use your best judgment and your fire safety here. Um, I'm not going to be going through everything that I have here too. I will go through most of it. Um, and I'm not going to be showing you guys the charging process either. Um, if you want to see more of that, I have my motivation, uh, spell video, um, which will be linked up here. Um, but that video, I, I just show a little bit of the, it's sped up, but I show a little bit of the charging process there. Um, I'm just going to skip that here just for time's sake. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dress my candle and then light her up. Alright, so our candle is ready. Let's light her up. I've got my petitions underneath, so we should be ready to go. I'm not going to show you guys the entirety of the candle burning down unless I just talk forever, but we'll see how it goes. So, 
bowl is anointed, candle is dressed. You saw me apply the oil. I carved some of my custom sigils that you might have noticed on the sigils as well on the petitions. So they are on the candle as well. So I'm focusing on this particular uh, money bowl right now on three different like financial goals. So that is what the petition and the sigils are for. The candle was then dressed in the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and the basil. If you noticed, as I was, um, before I applied it, I was stirring them in a clockwise direction to bring in, right? We're attracting for this spell. So everything you're gonna notice is going to be in like a clockwise motion or drawing in or coming towards me, so to speak. So like when carving the candle, we started at the top and going down, same with adding the oil, start at the top and bringing down uh, towards me, um, bringing it in. So yeah, so that the candle is all ready to go. So let's get started. First off, I'm gonna start with a little bit of coins, just some, some pocket change <laughs> that I've got here. This is not flammable. So I don't mind it getting a little closer to the candle and being a little more waxy. I'm not gonna put in all the change that had accumulated in my money bowl because I like to add it as I go. I like to use coins and change that I find or have to, to feed the bowl as we go through. So I'm just gonna start with this amount. I think I want one more silver over on this side. There we go. So yeah, just like a nice, um, well-rounded little coin base here. Ooh, don't knock you over too much. There we go. You do be leaning a little bit, but I think we're good for now. Okay, so that's that. My next um, one that I'm going to be adding is my pyrite chunks. Pyrite is one of my favorite money crystals to work with. I mean, look at it. It's just so shiny and beautiful. Pyrite is also known as fool's gold. Oop, that's hot. <laughs> um, so it kind of, it, it looks like wealth, right? Even though it might not be worth the, the gold that it kind of looks like, it's still shiny and beautiful and brings the feeling of wealth, right? So we're just going to add these guys in here. They'll look so shiny and pretty in that candlelight. And then I've got one little itty bitty baby. <laughs> So we'll just kind of do that. You'll notice that I have a lot of like um, items in threes here too. So that is kind of a purposeful number. I'm not super into numerology, but feel free to do with that information what you will. Next, I'm gonna add these cowrie shells. I've been wondering what to do with these for a while and um, I recently found that they are a correspondent with luck. So I'm going to be putting them in here to represent luck, bringing in that kind of um, abundance and prosperity and, and lucky things, right? All, all the lucky things. So we're putting those guys in there. I've also got some citrine pieces. I've got these two here, so a cluster and then a point. I will be putting the point in here and I do want it facing the candle so that it's kind of giving its power to the candle on um, points. I mean, you'll usually see them sitting upright, but um, I like to actually lay them down flat and point them at whatever I'm trying to boost. So in this particular instance, we are boosting up this guy here. I think this cluster I'm actually going to not put in my money bowl this time and use just on my prosperity altar to kind of just bring forth like a, an aura of, of prosperity and abundance. So that guy is actually, we'll set him down over here for now. Just like we had that point, I actually have, I thought I had, Oh, here we go. Um, a little clear quartz point. Oops, so same idea here. Clear quartz is just for energy boosting. It can replace any other crystal, but I personally just like it to, oop, I keep dropping this guy. <laughs> Bump and boost uh, this particular working. So I'm gonna be placing it here, kind of like opposite that citrine. And so both of them are just, ooh, just pushing that, that energy in towards the candle, towards the working. Now I've got a little piece of copper here. So copper is lucky as well. Also just correspondent with wealth. Look, we've got those copper pennies in there too. So this is just a nice little hunk. I'm gonna place that guy in there. Next, I have a lot of green aventurine. So green aventurine is a very lucky crystal. It's called the luckiest of crystals. It's specifically um, used very frequently in manifesting prosperity, wealth, increasing favor. Um, it can also help like, release old patterns and bad habits that might be holding you back from achieving um, your wealth and your fortune and things like that. Um, I definitely struggle with bad habits and um, procrastinating and things like that. So I like to have a lot of this crystal here in this bowl to once again keep me focused and motivated on achieving the things that I want to achieve. So we're going to place these guys 
around like that. So the next crystal that I'm going to be adding is a little piece of orange selenite. This is supposed to help with creativity and boosting creativity. And since most of my income right now is coming through my creative business, I've got this guy in here to just kind of bring me more inspiration and ideas to help focus on, on my creative goals. I've also got some tiger's eye for me tiger's eye is a stone of courage it's like that extra strength that i need sometimes to draw upon for for some confidence and just knowing that i'm on the right path right and doing the right thing that i have the strength and the confidence to to achieve my goals so i like to put a little bit of tiger's eye in all spells personally um, but especially the money bowl here so i've also got some moss agate here Moss agate, while not like traditionally a stone of wealth, prosperity, and things like that, is about fostering connections and having emotional balance, a good like work-life balance in the case that I am trying to achieve here, or fostering connections with people who I'm inspired by, right, and maybe want to work with one day, just kind of like opening those doors and, and bringing in that connection with other people. Then I have a little piece of malachite here. Malachite is a stone of change and transformation. Um, it helps get rid of toxic energies, unwanted patterns. And like I said, I definitely struggle with things like procrastination. So it helps kind of like facilitate the change, the necessary change to get good habits in place. So that guy is going to go right in here. Next, I've got some blue goldstone here. This is actually one of my most recent crystals I've got. But blue goldstone specifically is to help with motivation and achieving gold, staying focused can also be associated with like ambition, drive, and just look at that sparkle, oh my God. Um, but yeah, achieving those goals, right? Um, so that guy is going in right here. And I think the last crystal that I'll be adding today is um, a little dragon's bloodstone that I have here. This is a type of Jasper, but for me, and I love how this one's shaped as a little tooth. Um, but for me, this is a very good protective stone. It just kind of helps promote courage, kind of similar to the tiger's eye strength and supporting like groundedness, centering and things like that. So I, I like this as a protective stone personally, or just like giving myself the, the courage and the strength to be able to protect myself and continue my path. So I'm going to place that guy right in here. And that's it for the crystals that I think I'm going to be adding today. I do have a couple runes that I'm going to be adding in. I am still learning about runes. So although these are ones that I've researched uh, that have some of the properties that I want here in the bowl, I do not consider myself knowledgeable enough to teach on those. What I do have here though is some bay leaves. Ooh, this guy broke off a little bit, but that's okay. So bay leaves, I'll be adding these last and then some cinnamon some cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon to me is fast acting. It's prosperous, abundant. So these guys are definitely going in here. And then I'll probably do the bay leaves last after the candle has burnt down. I do also like to put a feather in most of my long-term workings. I personally get feathers as messages for my guides. It's kind of like a little reminder that I'm on the right path. Like some people get angel numbers and things like that. For me, I, I find feathers everywhere. So that I, I just like to put in here and I'll be adding that after the candle burns down. But the cinnamon here should be okay. Just place it around the edges, that little chip there to kind of just help boost, speed this up, ensure that the money is coming to me quickly, right? As well as abundantly. While I want the money that I need, right? I also need it in a, a certain time frame. So cinnamon kind of helps speed that up. And you saw that I coated the candle and the cinnamon as well. Um, so that is done. One thing that you can do with bay leaves as well too, is you can write wishes on them. When I do this, I like to personally like burn them in a flame, but you could write a wish or even like a little petition on these and place them in your bowl if you want. Um, these guys I will just be leaving as is. They will just be kind of tucked around the edges here, probably one in each corner or one, two, three. I think I've got three in the little piece that broke off. <laughs> I do occasionally when refreshing the bowl, which I, I will basically, the bowl itself will stay the same, but I'll relight a candle in it. So I'll take out like the bay leaves again and set them on the side and then redo the candle portion, which everything in here should be pretty safe. Just make sure your cinnamon isn't getting too close. And of course, keep an eye on any active burning workings that you're doing. But I will occasionally, every week or a couple weeks, redo the candle portion of the spell to kind of just reinvigorate the bowl. You can also just add extra things to it. Like I've got some money over here that will be going in after 
after the bowl but and then when redoing this I might write some wishes or some extra petitions some extra boosts on the bay leaves and then burn them in the actual I'll probably light them with the candle and then toss them in my cauldron to continue to burn safely but there, there will be a lit with the the abundant green candle right the spell that we have going on here and then basically you are sending that energy into the universe uh, telling it what you want and then sending it in a way that is more readable by spirit I guess uh, this is actually super interesting I wish I could show you guys but the you can see the little green ball here it's forming like a cup on the side so it's like a cup that is filling which is very interesting I don't know much about wax readings um but you could also read the wax as it falls into your bowl see kind of where it's going like right now it's going towards the citrine which is very interesting so I might want to dive more into to citrine today and see if there's any particular meanings that might be more correspondent with the spell or see if there's anything I should be leaning in towards more maybe that's a weak spot for me so it's something I need to focus on more but yeah um that's this is your money bowl so everything is good just keep an eye on your candle if you're doing the candle magic portion of this to let it burn down I'll be adding in some extra some extra dollars over here once that's done and then adding the bay leaves and the feather but yeah th that's how you make a money bowl and of course like the ingredients that I have here you do not need all of these these crystals are collected over years most of these I've, I've had for several years only a couple of them I bought recently like our orange selenite and the blue goldstone but don't feel like you need all of these things just use what you've got um, and if even if you don't have things that maybe specifically correspond with um, abundance start with green just to, I've got some like other green fluorites and things like that around here I'm not choosing to put them in the bowl this time um, but I had them here just in case right so see what corresponds with you check out your herb cabinet or your spice cabinet in the the kitchen grab some of those cinnamon sticks or that powdered cinnamon sprinkle it around whatever you feel drawn to right it's all usable you don't have to have 10 plus items in your bowl it can just be one or two right it can just be coins you don't even have to have the crystals or the herbs so just know that you're not limited by what you own right you can make this today with a cup and and some loose pocket change right it's all about your intention so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> And now you've got your own special money bowl just for you. I hope that this spell works well for you. I've had great results for my money bowl in the past. I've gotten mysterious checks in the mail totaling $75. I've gotten new income from my passive income streams or my creative businesses. I've gotten job opportunities before, um, even raises or bonuses. There are so many different ways that you can see results from this. So keep your eyes peeled and be ready for that abundance to come flowing on in. If putting your own money bowl together is sounding a little overwhelming for you, I do occasionally offer money bowls in my shop. The link will be down in the description below. These are a limited time item. I tend to just offer them as I find viable bowls at thrift stores, so they're not something that I offer consistently. So keep checking back if you don't see any now. And of course, if you liked this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And until I see you next time, stay wild. You guys haven't met Luna yet. I love the pet. You're being so noisy. You guys hear the kitty purr?